Hello, I hope everyone is wonderful, and thanks for joining me for this video. Uh, we are on number 25 in the Matwork Pilates series. So this is going to be the kneeling side kicks. Um, these are awesome. These are very similar to our side line uh, kick series, but then all of those exercises can be done in this other position. So it's basically just a different position. We're going to work them a little bit differently today, but yeah, it's going to be a great workout for our legs, um, our full body. We're going to throw some other extras in there to make it a great workout. Um, we're going to use that powerhouse. Uh, this exercise really emphasizes on working the hips and the waist and also balance, coordination, um, and control. So this is a great one. I advise anyone with any knee issues, we are going to be um, in a kneeling position on our knees. So if you do have some knee, knee issues, um, this could be difficult for you. Definitely, I recommend having a very soft, thick mat, thick carpet, something really soft and padded for your knees. And then you may be okay, but again, it could be just a difficult position for you. So just please use caution and listen to your body. Thank you for that. So um, we're going to do a, a little warm-up. If you need more, you know what to do, but let's get right into it. Okay, so... We're gonna go ahead and start on our backs. We'll go ahead and do, just bring our knees into our chest, start breathing. Take a moment here. Just take a second to see where you're at, how your body's feeling. Start rocking back and forth. Focus the breath on that lower back. Imagine breathing into that area. And just kind of gently take your knees and roll them around. And opposite direction. Awesome. And just a really strong hug. Bring your neck up just a little bit to get a full stretch in the neck as well and then really give a nice hug awesome job and let's just do some toe taps let's start getting those abdominals warmed up so legs at tabletop hands palms down by your side and let's just kind of start tapping the leg pulling those abs in as you tap the toe it's a very gentle movement we want slow and controlled this is really going to wake up those abdominals Go ahead and put your hand on your abdominals. You can keep a reminder about not letting your lower back lift up off the mat. Keep grounded. A couple more. And let's go ahead and bring our knees in and let's go out. We're going to have, let's put our heads, hands behind our head and keep our legs straight. And let's just do some double straight leg stretch. Slowly, nice job, keeping that powerhouse glued in, and slowly, don't jerk, pull on the neck, we've got five more, three, two, you're almost there, one more, and nice, bring it in, nice pull, awesome job, another rock back side to side, Take a full breath. Great job. And then let's come up. We're going to actually go on to the other side, onto all fours. And this way, um, we're going to do a couple more exercises. Remember, if you're not warm, you pause the video and do more. But let's have our wrists aligned under our shoulders. And we're going to just do some bird dogs. That's what we call them Pilates. We're going to do our opposite arm and leg. So let's lift our right arm and our left leg. And we're gonna lift it up, we're gonna hold here, pull the abdominals in, squeeze those glutes and all the uh, muscles in the leg, and release. Trying to keep those hips square, and up, hold, squeeze, you've got this, and down. And again, up, hold, pull those abdominals in, squeeze, and down. And again, up, hold, squeeze, and down. And again, up, 
hold, squeeze, you've got this. One more time to the other side. This is working on balance and working a lot of those little muscle fibers. And great job, release, let's go back into a child's pose. Stretch out a little bit, excellent job. And now I want us to come to our kneeling position. So we're gonna be, again, on our knees. I want you to bring your hand, palm down, right where your wrist is underneath your shoulder, and then your fingers facing out, straight out to the side. And you're gonna be on your knees. Then you're gonna just lift up your leg. Hand is gonna come behind our neck slightly, just to rest it there, leg out. Now the key to this exercise is, is not breaking in the waist. So we're gonna be moving our legs and the goal is to keep our upper part of our body quiet and not moving. We don't want hip hiking or moving our hips. So just like in our side lion kick series, we did the forward and back, front and back. So same thing, we're gonna hold here, we're gonna bring the legs slightly forward without breaking and slightly back. Imagine there's a ball suspended and we're just kicking that ball forward and back without trying to move the rest of the body. Squeeze the leg and involve those other muscles. And a couple more, forward inhale and exhale back. And release, good job. Now I want you to keep that leg straight out and go ahead and take a nice stretch here. This is an excellent stretch. You're gonna feel it all in your side body. Nice job. Then I want you to bring, come back in the middle, go down for a child's pose, and then let's come back up. We're gonna go right back into that position. We're gonna come back up. Legs are gonna be out straight, arm behind our head. Now I want you just to pulse. Engaging that, those glutes, all the leg muscles, pull in that powerhouse and just pulse up and down. Inhale, outhale. And hold, squeeze, hold for me and down. And then release that leg, take that stretch. Let's repeat that again. Lift, now I want you to go up and down. A little bit more, you can touch your toe on the ground. Up, three. Four, you got this. Five, six, almost there. Eight, nine, and one more hold and release down. Excellent job. Come to the middle for a child's pose. Nice job. Your hair, if it's down, you might want to put it up. <laughs> Let's, we're going to repeat that to the other side. You're doing a great job. So, kneeling position. We're going to go over to the side. Hands down, align under our wrist, hand behind our head, and leg out. Pull that powerhouse in, and hold. Nice job, and just keep holding. And then we're gonna just kind of start to play with the movement, forward and back. We're kicking that ball, forward, back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hold, squeeze all those legs, point your toes, and release, and then take that stretch, that nice stretch, excellent, feels so good. And then repeat, hand behind our head, leg back up, and let's just go ahead and pulse. Yep, uh, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, squeezing everything, pulling that powerhouse in, you got this, and release, and just go ahead and let the leg rest, take that stretch again. Come to the middle for a child's pose if needed. Excellent, and then let's go right back into that position. Hand behind our head. I want you to hold here, squeeze. And then I want you to lift up and down. Up, down. Four, inhale, exhale. Seven, you got this. Eight, nine, ten, hold and release. Excellent job. A nice child pose to the middle. Wonderful job. You have just got 
a complete little workout, short but very effective, of really working all of our body. I'm sweating. I hope you are. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep it up, and you can. We're going to do another leg series soon, working in all the other uh, sideline kick moves next time. So stay tuned. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day.